It's a couple Jordan 1 retros and they gotta be in your collection You just collect them, you never gon' step in I can respect it, but that ain't for me I gotta lay so deep, let's see me threes and throw a little fit together Get on the go L, play some bid and hopefully I can just hit forever I'm from the bottom of the one around with this part of our culture, you gotta be fly Well flowing with the Air Forces, put that shit on to the day that I die Nikes over Adidas, What's going on YouTube? It's your boy the Retro Wiz Kid, the Shoeologist, and y'all rocking with your boy in the Sneaker Dungeon, y'all. Hope everyone's having a great day. Today we're gonna be talking about why I've been shopping with GOAT more than Stock X and been leaning toward the GOAT team. You know what I'm saying? And you know, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that, but this is just my personal preference right about now and the reason why I just been messing with them heavy. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, join your boy the Retro Wiz Kid and the Sneaker Dungeon family. All the love and support is greatly appreciated and does not go unnoticed. Go ahead, head over to Instagram, follow your boy at the Retro Wiz Kid, posting them pictures daily for y'all. And y'all already know, run that like button up for your boy. With all that being said, let's elaborate and get into it. And plus, you know what I'm saying? We got an unboxing. Get it! So if you guys are new to the channel, when I moved back to the States in 2018, I was really big on purchasing sneakers if I really wanted one from StockX instead of using GOAT. I had made purchases for other people to um, help them out if they couldn't get, because at that time, GOAT didn't ship overseas a certain spot. So I had buy a shoe for one of my partners off a of go, I might do a review over it, then I ship it to them overseas and everything like that. It was just a little bit cheaper, and I was just trying to help out with saving a little bit of bread. But ever since last year, when the pandemic took off, it was a lot harder, and it was taking a lot longer to get your sneakers from StockX. You know, last year they had a small little controversy going on. You know, it was just a lot of stuff going on, and then also people were complaining about the payouts of StockX. So, you know. DMP sixes was the last ones that I purchased, if I'm not mistaken. I think I think it was the DMP sixes. I, I might have to double back. Let me, you know what? Let me check real quick. Actually, I'm tripping. The last purchase that I purchased off of Stock X was actually the Yeezy Sofers, <laughs> which was actually back in like May of last year. So I purchased the Yeezy Sofers last year, and that was the last sneaker that I purchased. Recently, I say about the end of last year, coming into this year. I found some sneakers and I was looking, going for the prices and everything, and I was like, yo, these joints is way cheaper over here on GOAT than they are on StockX. So I started shopping on GOAT. Well, you know, uh, talking to my partner and everything, shout out to my bro twin, we was chopping it up. And one thing that I can say that gave GOAT the advantage to me was the simple fact that you can sell your sneakers to GOAT and you can get the GOAT credit and you can put that towards getting another sneaker. So I've been doing that with a lot of other sneakers. When it came to the China New Year ones, I didn't want to pay cash for those. I was like, yo, I got shoes that aren't even in my size size and I can sell them there and I can use that credit and I can just go ahead and get the sneaker which it's a whole lot harder I feel like when you're trying to just trade up front with somebody I remember this dude was like I'm accepting trades for the off-white force I offered him something and he was like yeah I want this 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 and this I was like hell no nah, bro I'm not giving you like nine shoes for a pair of off-white fours dog i'm cool on that man i was kindly pass on that so i was just like nah man i'm not gonna make that trade but the thing i like about go is the simple fact that i've been able to use go credits and i have been able to use those credits to get sneakers that i want which brings us into this unboxing and that pretty much wraps up why i've been using go i have never taken a payout from go everything that i purchased from go that i want to use credits for i've bought a sneaker that i really wanted so this one right here and just a little just a little just a little unboxing at the same time but telling you guys why I've been leaning towards go because I think super cool you don't have to worry about the hassle of somebody saying oh I don't want to trade you or something like that I mean I look at it as if trading I'm selling the sneaker and I'm getting what I want and I'm putting it for a price that I want and I was able to pick these bad boys up man it's between these and something else and I was just like yo I don't have one of these in my collection you guys already see it man you guys can see the box right right here I don't own any unions no matter if it's union ones or union fours in the collection but I had to pick these bad boys up and this is the Air Jordan 4 Retro SP which colorway y'all think I got man which colorway y'all think I got I'm gonna give y'all a second to think about that 
All right, and if you guys picked out them guava ices, man, you guys are correct, man. I had to grab the Union 4 guava ices. I actually traded a sneak. I actually sold a sneaker to go that wasn't my size, and then I gave them another sneaker that was my size. But as I said, I had a double up of it, and here, man, we have it. Look at them things, man. The, the tissue paper is super fire on this pair right here. And let's just go right ahead and... Woo! Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord, y'all. Mmm, that fresh smell, y'all. Let's get these things about the box, man. Yes, sir. Your boy had to pick up a pair of these guava ice fours. Now, the New York, Noir, however you pronounce them, them things fire, man, but... To me, when it comes to like colorway and stuff like that, I just thought that these were just a little bit more fuego to me, man. I'm digging the vibes of these. It's a different type of vibe, different color, and they just hit, man. So I had to pick up the Guava Ice Jordan 4, y'all. Y'all let me know what you guys think about these. I know this sneaker did release last year, but I was like, man, I ain't trying to pay. Certain shoes, man, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know me, man. If I don't hit retail, I normally don't go back. But when I figured out that, hey, I got like 20 pairs of double ups and I can sell like one or two of these and then pay like $100 and get a sneaker that I want, it makes a lot more sense. So that's why I've been leaning towards GOAT so heavy. And this pair right here, like if I had to pay up front for this sneaker, I think it would have been around probably like almost like with the taxes and everything, it would've been like $900. But your boy got these things for a decent, decent price. I only had to add a little bit of bread to get this sneaker right here. So I was like, yes sir, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick these bad boys up. It's a couple other sneakers that I got on my radar that I'd like to pick up from GOAT doing that. And I just think it's a dope concept and it's something dope. And that's why I feel like GOAT taking it above a little step, above a little notch. And they were as uh, inconsistent with the shipping and stuff like that during everything that happened when the pandemic kicked off. I think, you know, it might've been delayed just a little bit from what people were saying but i feel like StockX, man i know at one point it almost took me like four weeks to get a sneaker from StockX. i was like dang bro am i ever gonna get this shoe but it is what it is i know they say now StockX is pretty much kind of sort of back to normal and everything but at the same time i definitely would say i feel like goat has the upper hand when you're able to sell a sneaker through goat and then get the goat credits for it and then you can put that towards a sneaker that you really want especially if you have a double up or if you have a sneaker that's worth some bread and you want to get another sneaker that's worth some bread you'll get a good value off of that and it's easier than you having to go through somebody and be like hey let's make this trade they backing out they backing out because i mean hey it's just a whole lot easier man so i definitely dig the vibe of these let me know what you guys think about the new pickup if you guys are new make sure you guys hit that subscribe button ring that notification bell join your boy the retro we is king the sneaker dungeon family all the love and support is greatly appreciated it's not going notice in order to instagram follow your boy the retro we is kid i will spin some pictures for you guys i did do a full detail review over this sneaker already shout out to the bro james for letting me do that hey i'm gonna have to show y'all the sneaker that james helped me out with too man james let me trade a sneaker with him and I was able to get another sneaker that you know what I'm saying it was one that I'm gonna be honest I was just like yo I'm not paying to play for that like I'm not paying to get that sneaker I will definitely trade somebody to get it but I wasn't gonna pay for it and the bro looked out for me and let me trade I'll be sharing that with y'all too so until the next video man you guys already know we gonna spend them pictures for y'all peace love in Laguna Beach and we out this thing Yeti! Couple Jordan 1 retros and they gotta be in your collection You just collect them, you never go step in I can respect it, but that ain't for me I gotta lay so deep, let's see me threes And throw a little fit together Get on the go, L, place a bid And hopefully I can just hit forever I'm from the bottom of the one around with this part of our culture, you gotta be proud Where I'm flowing with the Air Forces Put that shit on to the day that I die Nikes over Adidas Dead stressed and I don't even try Take all my Jordans and forces away from me And watch a young nigga steal